this is just a follow up on uh, the uh, changes I'm doing to my Frontier 54 inch snowblower uh, I had already put the winch in uh, earlier um, there's another video on that uh, this one is for the shoot deflector I got a linear actuator, 6 inch linear actuator I installed it uh, what I did was I put um, some bolts there, I don't know if you can see inside there this actually this nut here has got one of those uh, it's got the plastic in it and I forget what you call that it holds on there pretty tight uh, got another bolt or got another nut there some washers some more washers and uh, the trick to this is you have to leave this loose here because it needs to move it needs to move back and forth and I also did the same thing to the bottom uh, I added one extra nut so got two nuts there got some washers as you can see it's free flowing or nice and loose did the same thing inside uh, you can barely see it got that locking nut on it the uh, actuator came with uh, just two two wires, red and black wire. All I did was put some butt connectors. Then I got this cord here that's that's like a power cord to a power tool, a skill sour drill or whatever. Um, that way I don't have to put any loam on it. I'll just put some heat shrink uh, on it when I finish it up here. I haven't done that yet because I wanted to see if everything worked. And some more butt connectors here going to a quick connect you see I have everything uh, out right now I just wanted to see if everything was working these are uh, double pole double throw switches think about these switches here they need to be there's uh, they're actually six pole double pole double throw um, you gotta crisscross those the power to the middle from the battery and then you get these connectors here all right here's the actuator in motion it's kind of slow but hey you just take your time that's all And it's got an automatic stop, even though I'm still, you can hear the clicking here. It won't go up any higher. And I'll bring it back down. You see how that actuator is actually like turning a bit? Went from like the 1130 position. And it'll go to like the 1030 position. See, I'm still pressing on, on the switch. You can hear the little clicking sound. Uh, it's got an automatic stop. Works pretty good. I got the uh, actuator on eBay. It was uh, $64 shipped. Pretty good. Not a bad price at all. The actuator's got a 225 pound uh, lifting force. Uh, the more lifting force you have, the slower it is, and the less lifting force, uh, it's going to go a lot faster. So that's the deal with that. All you got to do is tape that up and put the loam on it, and we'll be good to go. All right, I just finished taping everything up here. Uh, all my quick connects. Everything's working fine. Uh, you can see, you can hear the actuator up and down, and that's for my winch. Like I said uh, earlier in the winch video, um, the only reason I'm doing this is uh, because I'll be getting a cab here within the next couple of years, and uh, there's no way I'll be <laughs> cranking that, you know, while I'm inside the cab. Let me show you everything in action here. Start with the winch.
actuator. Now that's it. All done. Um, all in all, uh, connections, winch, actuator, you know, fuses, everything put together, I got about, I don't know, about $250 into it. I guess that's my birthday present for this year, <laughs> even though the wife hasn't said anything. I worked on this last night, and she came out to the garage and said, you still working on that thing? I said, oh yeah. Anything to make uh, life easier. Take care.